everyone, it's June here. Welcome to my channel. So it is the weekend before Christmas and I'm super excited because we have so much things on. Um, I don't really have anything after Christmas, um, but I do have next week off, which is exciting. But from now till then, I've got like so much um, dinner plans and lunch plans um, with family and friends. Um, so right now it's Friday. It's just before midday. It's not even 12 yet and I've been working at home all morning. I'm trying to finish up work so I can get this out and not have to think about it next week. Um, but I've also got a lot of errands to run today. Um, I've got to pick up a few parcels, get some stuff refunded and buy some stuff over the weekend. So we will, Kang and I are hosting um, a dinner with my my girlfriends tomorrow night and he's also hosting his with his friends at our house so we've got a lot of stuff my parents are coming over for lunch as well so I've got so much different groups of like um food we need to prepare and tonight we're going out for my cousin's engagement um so yeah there's so much stuff on so hopefully um I can get this work done as soon as possible so I can go and complete my errands I'm also snacking on some lychee that I got from Aldi yesterday. Um, they're actually not bad. Every time I have something from Aldi, which is pretty good, I always say not bad because it reminds me of the ad. But yeah, this is seriously not bad. <laughs> One errand done. So it just did my round of shopping. Um, pretty much just got like most, we did all the dry food kind of stuff at Aldi and Coles yesterday. Um, what the hell? Does this guy even look when he reverses? Anyway, so today we, I just went to the uh, veggie shop, um, picked up some last minute stuff that I missed, also dropped the rotisserie stick off to get some gyros ordered for tomorrow. Now I'm off to do some refunds. I, may, I should have just done it after Christmas, but I'm like, I don't like to leave things too late, so I'm just gonna, since I'm out, might as well head up and do a few refunds. So, I am on my last leg of my errands, just went to Spotlight to get a refund. Now I'm off to Bunnings to get another refund. I feel so sneaky. Oh my god, I don't know whether I should tell you because um, I don't know whether it's legal or not, but anyways, I am the type of person that never rain checks, never lay buys, you know, never really like do any of that or buy stuff and ask for a refund because normally like if I want to buy something I know I want to buy for it so there's not unless it's faulty I've never bought something and then decided I changed my mind and take it back for a refund <gasps> but today so um, if you watch my gifting video um, I mentioned that I was making some stuff for Kyung and my friend um, I was just making just aprons because I thought it would be really nice and personal and I needed some eyelets just to make it look a bit fancy, you know? So, I bought the eyelets, but I didn't realize you need to buy like a setting tool to stamp it. Otherwise, when you do, it just flattens the whole thing. So I'm like, dang. So that's why I had to go uh, Spotlight to get a refund because they didn't have the size that I had. So I had to buy another set just in case. But it was a little bit smaller and I didn't really want it. And then I went to Bunnings after and I found that you can buy separately the setting tool, which costs like $20. And I was like, oh, this apron is like costing me. I might as well just buy a new one. So then I bought it and I took it home. I'm like, all right, I'll just buy it because then I could use it later. I took it home and then I realized the way it's packaged. So this is like a set of, I think three or four different um, sizes. So I can use it again if I want, but the chances of me using an eyelet thing again is pretty rare. So I thought, you know what? I, the way I, you can kind of slide things out without damaging the package. <laughs> so I used it because I only needed like a couple um, eyelets put in and then like seriously what am I gonna do with the rest so I put it back in the package back in the seal and I'm gonna take it in to get a refund <sighs> I've never done this before hopefully it works but I feel so guilty <laughs> oh but hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> I get away with it you know what's up <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so feel so guilty just got my refund but you know what like she didn't even really check it so i could have actually taken the size i needed and just returned it back without it but i'm a good person so yeah anyways that's pretty much it i've done my errands the only one thing i forgot to do was like buy some chicken wings <laughs> i hate that that's what you get for not putting it down and writing it down on your list. But I am now going home. I'm so hungry right now. And I still need to finish up on a few things for work. So I have like no real food in the house. Um, so for lunch today, I've got the spicy noodles with some fish balls and stuff like that and some dumplings. Um, I did do a spicy noodle challenge like over a year ago now when I was in Sydney and I couldn't handle it. But if you add cheese to it, not only does it taste better, but it also reduces that spicy heat so it's more bearable. Um, this is like one of my staple like no real food food. It's not exactly the healthiest, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So, I'm just waiting for a few things to load for work. Um, in the meantime, I just opened up a Boohoo package I received. It actually came early, which is good and bad because I placed the order, I think, last week before I read the delivery timeframes. And then it said it won't be delivered till after Christmas. So, ugh, bummer because I bought, I had a good idea of Christmas presents for my girlfriends. And then I decided to just continue making my annual, um, like, little decorations to give away anyways but they actually came today and i'll show you um what i got them so this is an order from boohoo i got my girlfriends all these little bum bags and i actually didn't realize it's genuine leather because it was so cheap i don't know whether genuine leather is real leather or it's the name because i heard that genuine leather it's just a name of the leather, um, but they're only like, they weren't even that expensive. It was like $5.50 or something because it was on sale, but how cute are these? I'm actually surprised that I got these before Christmas. So yeah, I got this because it was a little bit of an inside joke. Excuse the mess in the background as well. I haven't got around cleaning it, but anyways, um, me and my girlfriends, we call ourselves the Fanny Pack. Um, it's kind of like a thing we started. I don't know how we got started, but it's like a legit club now. It's called the Fanny Pack, and we have our own special handshake and everything, which I can't, I won't show you guys because it's kind of you need two hands for it. Um, but yeah, I saw these online, these bum bags, and I was actually thinking of getting one for myself anyway. But then I thought, you know what? Let's just get one for everyone because it's like the Fanny Pack, like bum bags. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually quite happy with the quality. It feels so soft and actually feels really nice. So I'm gonna wrap these up and give it to the girls <laughs> Stop. so it is now six o'clock and officially on holidays I finished at work at about 4 30 and I had some time so I vacuumed cleaned up a bit and also freshened up straightened my hair but it still looks a bit because I really need to wash it tonight but we are now about to head off to my cousin's engagement. Um, normally on Friday nights, my family has like dinner together, but today it's a special occasion because my cousin got engaged. So we decided to have it at my other auntie's house and celebrate her engagement. I did make her a Christmas present. I mentioned in my um, gift guide video um, that I made my cousin. I forgot to show it to you guys and I already wrapped it up. So if I have a picture, I'll insert it here. Um, but yes, yeah, so I made her a small gift. Well, it's not that small. It's actually quite big, but yeah. So we are ready to go and I'll take you guys along with me. I'll show you what I'm wearing as well because it's so cute. I haven't gone into a shopping center in so long and I went last Thursday, I think, with my cousin and I bought a new dress. It's just a really simple like off shoulder dress, but it's so comfortable and easy to eat with and a little split. <gasps> I wonder if I shaved my legs. <laughs> Did Miss Ella draw that? <laughs> Good morning, so today is 
Saturday. Um, it's currently just after 10 o'clock and I'm kind of running a bit late because I was supposed to wake up early to do stuff because I've got a lot of stuff to do this morning. Um, but I was just really tired this morning. If it looks like I'm wearing the same thing every day, it's because I probably am. But I have a lot of things to do. I have to give Coco a bath, um, do a stuff. So I wanted to kind of just get that out of the way so I can clean up and get ready for tonight. But I've got my girlfriends coming over um, for our traditional end of year Christmas catch up. Um, so that should be exciting. So <sighs> let's start the day. So we got the Christmas music in. Woo! Christmas time. What a day! So it is almost 10 o'clock, the girls have gone home already because we had an early dinner, started around 3, because um, most of them have small kids or they all live actually pretty far from where I am, um, so we ended it early, I'm so full, there's so much happiness and laughter, um, but it is like, yeah, almost 10 o'clock and it's still pretty early, um, we might actually head to the shops because it's... Eve, before Christmas Eve, which means that some shopping centers are open 24 hours, they open till close tomorrow. So we're going to head there for a bit to do some last minute shopping because I realized I forgot to buy a present for my brother. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're going to head out and yeah. Can't believe the day has come that we're trying on Crocs. Hi guys, good morning. Today is Christmas Eve. It's Sunday morning and my uh, my throat is feeling so dry <clears throat> and itchy. Like every time we have like charcoal barbecue, I always get like a really itchy throat. But today is another day and it's another barbecue. So I woke up this morning and the house smelled like smoke, like barbecue smoke. It's kind of like a really good thing to wake up to, but at the same time, like it kind of smells a bit, um, but it's almost 10.30 in the morning. Kang was up at 6 o'clock to start the barbie. So yesterday, um, we just had the um, lamb gyros on rotisserie. Um, that was the main meat of the day. Today, for dinner, um, we are, well, Kang is cooking brisket, um, as well as some pork belly burnt ends or something like that, um, with a few other meat. Um, so he was up early this morning setting that up. And yeah, so we just got up. I'm so exhausted. My feet were so sore yesterday just from standing up all day. Um, yeah, so today is another day and my parents should be coming soon. So I got to start prepping for lunch. For lunch today, um, we're just going to go something simple, nothing too much because they've got plans and um, we're probably going to be spending the whole day eating. So I'm just making some teriyaki salmon with some... Uh, was it soba noodles and some greens and yeah I've pretty much done everything else so today I'm just gonna prep lunch and then get ready um, for tonight everything's been prepped so I'm just gonna lay it out so hopefully it will be a cruisy happy day and today I'm wearing my um, Christmas this is a PJ top that I got last year for Christmas um, the weather is actually not as great I oh, forgot to check the weather this weekend I just assumed it was going to be sunny, but then yesterday started raining a bit in the evening, late evening. It was kind of spitting a bit all afternoon, then it was like raining. Um, so hopefully the weather holds up today, but it's a little bit cooler. So I guess that's not too bad. It's a lot cooler. Seriously, this is like the best thing I've ever bought. Like it comes in handy. I can put my phone in here and carry it around with me, so I'll never lose it. <laughs> Let me see your shirt. Oh look, it's Coco. Where's your shirt? my mum's hair and makeup. 
<laughs> yes, no eyes. Hi guys! Merry Christmas! Hope you guys had a very good Christmas surrounded by family and friends. We had an amazing weekend surrounded by owls. Um, there was so much love and laughter going on. It was really nice and it wasn't really that much. We didn't really do a whole lot, just a whole lot of food and gathering. And yeah, so this morning, so today is Christmas Day. Um, this morning we were up early at 8 o'clock to drop our par my parents off at the airport. Um, it was so tired, so we just came home and literally spent the whole morning in bed. So it's currently like almost 3 o'clock. Um, we had a really good snooze. Like We haven't slept in in such a long time. Coco was so tired. Look at him, just busy, busy, playing with his little toys. And what is that? His little ball, he loves oh, balls. He's it. His ball, oh my God, he's already teared up his ball. So anyways, we just had um, our late brunch and we just opened up our presents. So for Christmas this year, Cam got me a Hero 6. I've been thinking about getting one for a while because I haven't, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to um, blog get a blogging camera or get a new wide lens um but we do want to try and do some more outdoor activities so this is a really good for like action shots and things like that so i'm super excited because i've been talking about buying one for black friday as well and i also got a um another portable hard drive because i didn't tell him that i wanted one but he knows that actually he's probably annoyed because i keep asking to use his in the car because mine broke and yeah, so I got another one of these. I'm not sure because if you watched my um, gifting, I also got one as part of my gifting guide thing as well. So now that I have two, I might keep the two or I might um, exchange mine for something for Boxing Day sales. But yeah, so that was all Christmas. Look at the mess that we've made. So Christmas, what did you get, Cam? So he got a Christmas jumper, sunnies, a sandwich press. That he wanted a thermal bottle and an apron. And Coco got a box full of um, toys, treats, new harness, and a new bowl. So that is Christmas wrapped for 2017. Um, we're probably just going to chill at home tonight. Um, actually, no, right now. Tonight we are going to my cousin's house for dinner with her family because my family are going overseas. Um, so yes, I'll take you along with me tonight as well. God damn, Coco. Not even five minutes and he's already started ripping up the tennis ball. Oh God. So we are just off to my cousin's house for dinner and check out the new shirt that I got the other day. It's Gucci Mane. <laughs> All the guys in the kitchen doing their thing. 
So I just got home and it is super late. I'm so tired, but I'm going to end the vlog here because I also need to edit it and also upload it before tomorrow because we have a few things going on as well. So if you haven't watched my previous video, make sure you watch it. Um, I did a gifting guide video, which also has a giveaway on it. So I will leave a link down below so you can watch that and enter that. And also, yeah, so stay tuned to my next video because I will take you along with me to welcome in the New Year's and get on to a whole lot of stuff. So I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching. Bye.